What's up guys, today we're gonna talk about five reasons why trends and styles change. What's up guys, welcome back to Gents Lounge. I'm George, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And over here at Gents Lounge, we kinda like to do things a little bit differently than your average style channels. We like to kinda talk about a little bit of fashion theory, why things are the way they are, and not just tell you, you know, wear a Henley and you'll look good. So today we're gonna talk about five reasons why trends and styles change. But wouldn't it be nice if we could just all wear the same stuff every year for the next 20 to 30 years? And I think a lot of you guys are probably saying, hell no, that would be super boring. So today we're gonna talk about why the styles change, why trends change, and what kind of causes these things to happen. So up first on the list, the masses catch up to the trendsetters, guys. So you know, if you are a trendsetter, chances are you probably are if you're watching this channel right now, but when you find something new and you find something you love and then everybody kind of starts wearing it, you want to go find something different to wear because you are in front of the curve. So Blake and I always talk when we do these videos that we talk about things we've been wearing for, you know, maybe a year or six months and we're like, We've been wearing that for a while now, but we realize that a lot of people, it takes a while for everyone to kind of catch up. If we were to wear the same thing over and over again, this channel probably would get super boring and we probably would have quit about two years ago. So number two on the list, guys, is probably the first moment when you figure out you can build your own style, and that's you don't want to dress like your parents. So if you realize what you were wearing when you were, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, it was probably the exact opposite of what your parents were wearing, unless your parents were super cool. I know my dad was wearing, you know, baggy shorts, kind of golf polos, and I was a punk rock kid. I was wearing torn up jeans, boots, leather jackets, and you know, I had a mohawk. So I was doing something completely different just because I didn't want to look older and I didn't want to look like my parents did. So moving on to number three on the list, technology evolves. You know, if you look at the 70s and 80s with all the synthetic fabrics, the polyester, the nylon and that kind of stuff, it was just a new technology, a new fabric with designers to work with and designers just kind of ran with it. I think in the 90s it was Gore-Tex and now there's all this 3D printing and laser cutting that we can do crazy things that we couldn't do before. So it's evolving fashion and we're just making up new styles, new trends, and new categories. So number four on the list has been affecting fashion forever and that is cultural changes. So you know, guys being more okay with dressing up and more comfortable in their own skin. A new genre of music, like no one had a hip hop style before hip hop existed. So they developed their own style pulled from you know different categories and put it together. The punk rock scene had its own style. Music kind of really has a signature style for most genres of music, which is super cool. Even the shift of the workplace becoming a more casual space, you see dress pants that look like sweatpants and people showing up to work in jeans and a t-shirt. And you know, if you're on the West Coast, sometimes even flip-flops. And last but not least on the list, guys, we get bored. How many of us have walked into our closet full of clothes and said, I have nothing to wear, even though you definitely do. You're just super bored of wearing what you have in your closet. So, you know, even a pocket square, a tie, a new pair of shoes will make you feel like, you know, the outfits are a little new because you're adding that extra pop here and there. Your style's evolving, trends are evolving, you're trying out different stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that, guys, but that is just kind of the reason why trends and style evolve. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope this was interesting for you. Comment down below if I missed anything, if you think there are other factors that contribute to this. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys in the comments below. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and things like this. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, at Gents Lounge, give us a follow over there, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.